Hi, I'm Tim with Crank Brothers. Let's talk about cleat installation. When you get your Crank Brother pedals, it's going to include a set of cleats. Those cleats are different depending on the release angle you want to set up. You've got one with a dot on it and one without. The cleat with the dot on it is going to give you a 15 degree release angle when you're on the right shoe and a 20 degree release angle when it's on the left shoe. Also included is plates for the screws, shims if we need them, a set of short screws, and a set of long screws. Now to install the cleat, it's quite simple. Since we're doing the left shoe, we're going to go ahead and grab the cleat without the dot on it. I'm just going to set that on a neutral position on the shoe for now. We're going to grease down the screws just a little bit, just a little bit of grease on there just to give you a proper torque. Okay. And once you have a little bit of grease on all the bolts, you're going to use a four millimeter Allen. And you're going to go ahead and snug those down onto the shoe. Again, into a nice neutral position. We'll adjust that later if necessary. Okay. Now that the cleat is installed onto the shoe, let's check the interface. We can do this with either the pedal on the bike or in your hand. What you want to go ahead and do is gauge the system to make sure that the pedal body is making contact with the sole of the shoe. If you go to clip in and you find that you can either not get in at all or the wing is not making contact with the sole of the shoe, we need to install the shim that we talked about in the beginning. Once that shim is installed, You'll notice that the pedal and the sole of the shoe make contact and are working as one. The opposite of that would be if you go to engage the system and you notice that there's a gap underneath the pedal or there's excessive movement on the pedal. Now it's time to discuss using the use of contact sleeves or traction pads in order to fix this issue.